Hey, welcome to Healthier and Happier Humans, episode 25. And this was not originally the episode I had planned for this week, but with everything going on with uh, fear and concerns over COVID-19, I felt it was honestly my obligation to talk about ways to improve your immune system because that's something that's on, I think, everyone's mind. So today I'm going to talk, give you five simple ways to boost your immune system. And so many of the things that I'm going to talk about today, you've heard from me before because they're cornerstones to good health. But that's the thing is when you take care of yourself, when your body is healthy, it's so much more equipped to fight off, you know, viruses and things that want to do it harm. So that's the inspiration for today's story or today's video. And um, I'll start right off, I'll get right into it. Eat non-processed foods. I know a lot of people are scrambling and hoarding food. And from what I've seen in the grocery stores, a lot of that stuff is not going to serve them. Um, if you are wanting to stock up, stock up if you're gonna do um, you know, non-perishables, Get stuff that isn't that is as little processed as possible. You know things like beans, rice. You know stuff you can make soups out of, um, frozen meats, things like that. But like really, don't don't be getting the the highly processed foods because that's not going to do you any favors. Um, and also, you know you can still eat and you should still be eating fresh produce right now. If you don't want to go to the grocery store. Um, personally, I use Imperfect Foods to uh, deliver produce. And then of course I wash everything before I cook with it um, and I cook everything. So um, really, it's just really, really important um, because when you eat whole clean food, it helps your body like, okay, I'm gonna back up. Here's the thing, when you eat highly processed food, it creates an inflammatory response in your body because it's not really, it's not good for us, right? So it creates an inflammation response. When your body has to fight that inflammation, it's less equipped to deal with other things like a virus. So that's why you want to focus on eating clean, eating non-processed foods, because you're going to fuel your body and give it the tools it needs to not only not have to fight off this excess inflammation, but also have like be better prepared to fight off something like a virus. Um, second is, is move your body daily. You have heard me say this so many times, but it's so, so important. Moving your body, exercise, physical activity, boosts your immune system strength. There are multitudes of studies that have proven this. So, and it doesn't have to be something crazy. Even if you have not worked out a day in your life, like, you know, even with social distancing and everything, like if you live in a neighborhood, take a walk around the block or you know walk up and down your house walk around in your yard um do 10 jumping jacks just do something to move your body stretch today i did um pio which is a cross between pilates and yoga because i was like you know what like my body needs some stretch so i listen to it and i feel great but the point is move your body because that's not only going to increase like boost your immune system it's also going to improve your mental health because a lot of people are scared right now and dealing with like setting up your brain to deal with that stress with that fear it's really going to help so move your body every day number three get at least eight hours of sleep I'm actually going to adjust. I usually get about seven hours of sleep at night, honestly. I'm going to adjust my wake up time so I'm getting eight hours um, because that's how important this, I believe this is. Um, again, sleep is how your body rejuvenates itself, resets itself, um, detoxes. And if you're not giving it time to do that, then again, it's trying to play catch up. And then when you introduce something new like a virus, it's, 
it's just, it's not playing on an equal playing field. It's, you're not setting up your body to the best of its ability. And I know I'm repeating myself, but like, again, this stuff is like the basis of good health. Um, but it's more important now than ever. Okay. Number four, manage your stress. I know there's a lot of uncertainty right now. I know, you know, there's a lot of, of scary things being said. People are hoarding. A lot of people are, are freaking out, frankly. If you need to take a detox from the news or from social media, do it. Even if it's just a day, a half day. And take some time to really take some deep breaths. Do something that rejuvenates you, that relaxes you. Um, I've been drinking a lot of lavender tea. <laughs> I've been hitting on my hot tub a lot. Uh, you know, knitting today, I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna sit down and play some video games because I haven't done that in a while and it's a way that I like to de-stress. Takes my mind off of things. So really manage your stress and not, not just because like, you know, stress is stressful, but stress <laughs> uh, actually creates an immune response in your body. So again, if you are, if you're using your body's defense systems to manage stress, excess stress, it's more taxed and less adept at dealing with something like a virus. Okay. And to kind of finish things out, for this episode, I'm actually gonna give you some of my favorite supplements for immune support. So this is my number five. Um, and a lot of these are selling out, um, but there's also a lot that you can still find. So um, elderberry syrup is a really good, um, just great for boosting your immune system. It's a very strong antioxidant. Um, oregano oil, uh, you can take it in either a like straight up the oil or a capsule form. I prefer the capsule form because taking the oil straight is a little intense. Um, you, regardless, you will burp some oregano, but like it's fine. <laughs> um, but again, it's it's um, immuno support. It, help, it supports your immune system. Um, apple cider vinegar is another great one. I um, and I actually do this every time I feel like I'm getting sick too. So. Uh, you know, file this one away. Um, I will add a teaspoon or sorry, a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar to like a standard glass of water, like what, eight to 10 ounces. Um, and drink that one to two to three times a day. However, I'm feeling, um, for that, um, boost to my immune system. And then, um, I also, I like diffusing oils. So there's a few that are also, um, again, studies have shown, uh, benefit your immune system. So first one is um, Cyprus. Uh, it actually increases the natural killer cells. So those are like the cells in your body that um, fight off um, other other things that are destroying your cells. So it's, it's super important. I didn't say that very well, but it's super important. We're just going to continue. Um, eucalyptus is another really good one. Um, and then uh, warrior or thieves, um, depending on, so that's warrior is an Arbon blend. Thieves is a young living blend. I use both of them. Um, and I'll put links to all of these, um, in the notes for this episode. Um, but they're, they have things like cinnamon, which is, um, uh, boost your immune system um, nutmeg, kind of those sort of, uh, oils, and they have been shown to, um, be, uh, antimicrobial as well, um, and help your immune support. So, uh, that is what I have for you. I'm going to just break it down really quickly. One more time, the, the five ways you can, uh, boost your immune system, eat non-processed foods, eat whole clean foods, move your body daily, get at least eight hours of sleep, manage stress, and supplement um, as you can. And that's why I wanted to give you kind of the gamut of supplements that I use because like apple cider vinegar is really inexpensive. 
um, you know, versus like some of those oils, you get, they get up there a little bit in price sometimes. So um, I want to be giving you plenty of options and, and helping you as much as I possibly can. Um, stay safe. You know, if there's, even if you just need to talk to someone, right? Like shoot me a DM. Um, you know, I, my heart goes out to everyone that is struggling with this, be it, you know, uncertainty with work, um, uncertainty with childcare. Um, you know, I know that this is a really hard time and I just want you to know that I, I care about you sincerely. Um, and I hope that you and your family are healthy and safe. And please, if you, you know, need to talk, um, please reach out because, um, a big part of the reason why I do this is to, you know, help you serve you, help you live your healthiest life. And, and right now that, you know, talking <laughs> is a part of that, right? So, um, please don't, don't hesitate to, even if you want to send me a, a DM, um, I would love to hear from you. And, um, We'll talk soon. So uh, in the meantime, you know, focus on what to be grateful for. Focus on things that, um, you know, because I think we all still have a lot to be grateful for. Um, so I'm going to keep my normal sign off, which is keep on living your healthiest and most abundant life. We will get through this. I love you. Stay safe.